I'm on Larchmont Strip having a smoke with Reese Noy. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Reese, um, just finished filming um, the Central Park Five, which is going to be on Netflix. He's on his way shipping out in a few days to um, Australia. What's the name of the film that you're shooting there? Unsound. Unsound. And he was just telling me about a pilot that he wrote, which I'm dying to hear more about. Um, tell me everything. What's a pilot? What are the episodes? What's the whole premise? Okay, so I had an idea five years ago for... Um, I wanted to tell the story of um, male rape. I feel like it's a subject that's not really like touched upon too often. Um, and I just didn't really know how I wanted to approach it until suddenly last year I got the idea. I was in Boston, um, fairly isolated and a little bit depressed and then started writing and I realized that it'd be really interesting to look at it for someone who'd never experienced intimacy. And then I also wanted to look further and how, how a world would enable them to not sort of experience intimacy. So it's now, it's become this weird fusion of loads of different ideas whereby it's set in a fairly dystopian future or alternative reality um, whereby everybody is institutionalized oh, wow. and medicated and under a dictatorship um, that doesn't feel too far from Jesus <laughs> yeah it doesn't feel too far from where yeah. we are today um, and yeah in the institution one of the, the characters is is raped and it it sort of snow it, it sets off like a series of events that makes him want to understand what's happening to him and then beyond that happening in the world oh wow um so yeah it started as one thing and it's become you know loads of different things um so yeah that's what i'm working interesting and you have three episodes written already i have three written now i'm in like the redraft process oh wow and how do you feel like i mean reese also writes poetry how do you feel like um kind of the process of writing a pilot differs or is similar to or do you find do you find that you kind of are writing more as an actor than as a writer or no because one of my notes for my friend <laughs> she was like you need to like chop down on the stage directions because I'm writing full full paragraphs of stage directions I see. to me I'm like setting a scene yeah 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 yeah, yeah. story and she was like you need to trust that you've got visuals at the end at the end pro you know, final products will be visuals and I'm, you know, I'm telling full sort of like narratives in the stage direction. Right. Um, and also I do think, feel like sometimes I try and write dialogue, which is a little bit poetic. Uh huh. And then I have to pull myself back because right. I'm like, not everybody talks, talks like that. Talks like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's a whole different discipline. Like, as I mentioned before, I struggle to edit poetry. <laughs> so then to create something that takes, you know, like it's a whole world, you're creating a whole world. And to do that in one page, it's amazing. You have, you have fun with it. And, right. But then to do that in 60 pages with seven different characters telling the story. Yeah. It's a very different ball game, but it's, it's fun. How'd you get started doing that? Were you always kind of writing? I always wrote. I mean, from a young age, I wrote stories. That was my first, like, from at the age of seven, actually, I wrote a story about a heroin addict who contracted HIV. Oh, wow. And then committed suicide. Jesus. Yeah. So always super so light. No one, things. my family never knew where it came from. Like, <laughs> always just writing yeah. really flowery. Yeah, uplifting shit. <laughs> uplifting shit. Um, and yeah, it was this really dark tale about this girl who got addicted to heroin and sold herself at the age of seven. And that was my first like real story that anyone remembers me writing. And then I'd write poetry about homeless people and like people. I was always sort of drawn to people who suffered for some reason. Um, but again, no one ever really knew where it came from. I wasn't yeah. exposed to that. Yeah, at yeah, home. yeah. And, um, so that was like small story, like short stories were like my, my first writing. And then occasional poetry. And then it was a breakup like seven years ago that really like unleashed other poetry. Because I just needed something immediate. Yeah, yeah, sort yeah. Of, like some sort of catharsis. And so I'm interested then, how did you get into acting was that through writing so no th this was this was again connected to the stories because for me it weren't like i want to be a star i never wanted to be a star i love to tell stories and i love to sort of 
make people think and feel something. Yeah. I'm a Gemini. <laughs> Um, ah, Gemini's uniting yeah, for a smoke. Two Gemini's. <laughs> um, and yeah, I always remember saying to my mum, I, I need to, I want to act. And she was like, okay, like, you know. So at the age of 10, she took me to a drama class. And within two months, I booked my first no way. Um, TV show. And then I worked fairly solidly. Was that the Chloe Sevigny show? No. Um, that was only, that was 2012. Oh, I don't know why it feels like from my childhood or something that I watched. Because a lot has happened. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. The world has changed The world has changed a lot. Um, yeah, so that was that. And I I never knew it was going to be forever. Yeah. Hello. Wait. Reese knows everyone on Larchmont. <laughs> walking up and down Larchmont. <laughs> um, yeah, I never knew it was going to be forever. In fact, she's from my poetry class. No way. Yeah. Where do you take a poetry class? There's one up the street. Oh my god, I want to come. Yeah. Wait, I seriously want to come. Yeah, it's, there's a writer space at the top of the street. I knew that there was like a club. Yeah. It's like, it's kind of fancy, right? It's called the Hatchery. Right, yeah. the Hatchery. But I never knew that they had classes there. Yeah. Do you have to be a member too? No, no, you can just do the work. They do workshops, they do class. They do write, screenwriting, poetry. No way. Will you... That's a little plug. Yeah, <laughs> love it. Um, will you let me know next? Well, so you... The next one is next Monday. Okay. The next poetry class. But you're leaving... Next Saturday. Next Saturday. I'll be in Japan. Um, when you get back, though, let's, let's go. go. Yeah. I don't want to go alone. It's fun. It's nice. Yeah. yeah. No, I bet it is. But at the same time, it's nice to have company. To be, yeah. And we're neighbors, so that'll give us, like, a weekly excuse to, like, hang out. Yeah. Because we've been terrible neighbors thus far. Because we've been terrible neighbors thus far. Because we've been busy. In LA. <laughs> I have <laughs> doing not yoga. been busy. Yeah. <laughs> doing yoga and smoking and, weed in my case. And drinking coffee and smoothies. Exactly. And kombucha. Oh my god, well thank you so much for this chat. I'm at the end of my cigarette. That was fun. <laughs>